Hey guys, in this video, I will talk about the problem 24 to 27 on our practice exam number one. Uh, cause someone, some, someone had some questions, so I want to answer this to the whole class. So this is a table question. Uh, it's about a three sector Keynesian model and it's dealing about finding the equilibrium and also, um, finding the gap, uh, GDP gap and also uh, how to use the physical policy to close the gap. So it's a typical question. So let's see how to figure it out. Uh, question number 24 is based on the given consumption function, uh, investment, government spending, and taxation, and try to figure out the equilibrium output income. So to solve this one, we can go back to the formula sheet um, for the test, and we can use the equilibrium income in a public three-sector economy which is using C0 plus I0 plus G0 minus MPC times T0 divided by one minus MPC. Uh, this equation is what we are looking for. So uh, go back to the question. Uh, the C0 here in the question is gonna be $300 billion because that's the constant of the consumption function. And I0 is 450, G0 is 200, T0 is 200. And MPC is the parameter in front of disposal income YD. So that is 0 0.75. Now let's plug them into the equation and solve it. So I got this calculator. What I need to do is I'm going to adding the, uh, consumption, uh, C0 300 uh, plus I0 450 plus G0 200. And that's 950. Uh, 950 is going to minus uh, 200, the t0 times 0 0.75. So first of all, I need to figure out 0 0.75 times 200. That's 150. So I can, I'm going to use the 950 minus 150. Uh, that is the numerator of the equation, 800. And divide by the denominator is 1 minus MPC, uh, so 1 minus 0 0.75 is 0 0.25. So the equilibrium income should be $3,200. And we can see both answer A and B has this one. So we can pick between answer A and B. And the second uh, question is disposal income equal to, uh, we know disposal income equals our equilibrium income minus the ta taxes. And uh, since our equilibrium income is 3,200 and tax is 200, so disposal income should be 3,000. So answer A should be the right answer for question number 24. For question number 25, uh, if the given um, natural real GDP equals $3,500 billion, then our current equilibrium GDP is 3,200 and natural level or potential GDP is 3,500. So the difference between them, uh, Q and minus QE is a recessionary gap, a recessionary gap. And that recessionary gap actually equals $300 billion. So among four choices, the answer B will be the right one. And go back to the question number 26. Uh, it's showing the one that we will try to close this gap because the full employment rate of GDP is 3,500 billion. And how much increase in government spending uh, would be necessary to achieve the equilibrium at full employment. Uh, so for this question, we're going to use another formula on the formula sheet. So the equation we're going to use is the change in the real GDP equals the change in aggregate spending times spending multiplier. And the spending multiplier is 1 divided by 1 minus MPC. Uh, from, from the MPC equals 0 0.75, the spending multiplier equals 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.75 or 1 over 0.25 equals four. Uh, so basically we know anytime when government spending increase, uh, the real GDP will increase by four times of that. Uh, so basically we can do this to figure out how much government spending needed to uh, close the gap, which is to increase the uh, GDP from 3,200 to 3,500 increased by 300. So the calculation is going to be 300 divided by uh, the spending multiplier four and I got 75. So basically that's the answer D. Uh, when the government spending increased by $75 billion and times the spending multiplier, then the real GDP will increase by $300 billion. 
and current GDP is 3,200, and that will increase to the full employment rate of GDP, and the gap will be closed. And for question number 27, uh, we talk about the tax multiplier. So we can also cut the taxation to achieve the same uh, change in the real GDP. Uh, so GDP need to be increased by 300. And when tax decreases, then this reduction in taxation will times the tax multiplier to achieve the $300 billion increase in real GDP. Uh, so in that case, uh, figure out uh, the tax player will be one unit less than the spending multiplier. And we know spending multiplier equals four uh, from the question number 26. Then the tax multiplier should be negative three. And to close the gap of 300, we just divide by negative three. Divide by three, negative three. And we can see the answer is negative 100, which means actually there is a decrease in tax by $100 billion. So answer C will be the right answer for question number 27. All right, I hope you understand this uh, question from 24 to 27. And this is a typical question uh, for the second exam. Uh, so uh, I think you should, uh, well, pay attention to this whole process and make sure you understand the entire question sets.